If it's silent in dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I devour I Hey beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Today I thought I would go ahead and do one of my highly requested videos as of to this date. And what the highly requested video is, is how I style my hair. I get that a lot. I get a lot of people asking me, um, you know, what do I use? Um, you know, just curious on how I get my curls the way they go. So honestly, there really is not too much to doing my hair, my styling my hair. I am blessed with uh, thick, natural, curly hair. So that that does help obviously tremendously for getting my curls the way they go. So I think this could work for anybody if you wanna give it a try. Um, like I said, there's really not too much to it. I hope I don't bore you guys because it's just very simple, very easy. But I do wanna um, do this for those who had asked and requested it and was curious on you know how I style my hair. So right now I have this little headband thingy in my head. Um, today I did do my shampoo, conditioner, and then I did my lemon rinse and which my scalp feels so nice and clean. This removes a lot of the product buildup. So this really helps my scalp feel much more clean. Um, what I use, I get, I have some of my styling products here and I have one of these ponytail, um, you know, the ponytail twisty thingies that you put in your hair. So I don't use no curling irons. I haven't used a curling iron in years. I haven't used um, now I did use a blow dryer earlier this year, but I don't blow dry my hair at all. Um, I haven't done that for a very long time. I, I was using when at some point I was in that process and um, to help make my hair not get so damaged anymore. I was not using a lot of those tools, so I don't use any hair tools at all. I have thought about getting a curling iron sometime to maybe style my curls with with it, you know, kind of make them go a different way and play around with it. I have thought about using one again. Um, I just haven't made that jump yet. So I will say that I don't use any any hot tools at all. This is the first thing I'm going to put my hair is my um, Extraordinary Oil Lustrous Oil Serum. I like to put this in my hair first. Now I've got a shower and everything. Usually when I'm in the bathroom, I get out of the shower and I um, go ahead and uh, put this stuff in. So this is going to be the first stuff. And I usually use about, well, it would help if I twist it open, wouldn't it? I use about two pumps. Um, and then I just, you know, like rub it through my hand. And then I start from the root and glide through my hair with my fingertips, like, you know, like as using it like a comb. And I glide it on through. Like I said, I go from the roots and all the way down through. So that's one side, put two more pumps and I'll do the other side. I've got a lot of hair, so of course, um, if you had shorter hair, you obviously wouldn't want to be doing. My husband teases me because when my hair is down like this, he says I look like that character of the grudge. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to glide that all through. It feels so soft when I put that in. <laughs> Some of my favorite um, hair creams for curly hair and products is um, from Jane Carter Solution. I'm not sure how many of you guys have heard of Jane Carter Solution. I know she does have products in Target now and her and Sally Beauty Supply and obviously also you can purchase in uh, online so but the curl defining defining cream this is my favorite cream of all so that's why I'm going to use it um, it's the one I use the most and it seems to I don't know it's the only styling cream I have found that really really interacts with my hair so much better I have other ones I even have one from Living Proof and it's not bad, it smells wonderful, but um, this one just seems to always give my curls 
a little more something, you know, and makes my hair look great. So this is my favorite one, which as you can see, I'm really down to the nitty gritty. I actually have a bigger one where you can, uh, it has a pump. I think I might just get that because as much as I love this stuff, I might as well get the bigger, even the bigger one than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit and again, I like to massage through in my hands and then I scrunch. I hold and scrunch, you know, the whole scrunching method, if you know that, and put my head, head down. Hopefully you can hear me still. Okay. And then I go ahead and get a little bit more and I go towards the back of my head. And just really work it all through. Now this stuff here I'm shaking up right now is called Wrap and Roll, also from Jane Carter. It is like a mousse, but it's like any other mousse I've ever used. It's for smooth styles and it's a wrapping and setting hair. You know how some mousses they can get real sticky on you. Um, I put about three pumps. They can get real sticky on you, you know. And um, I don't know, just and her products. You can smell now her products are cruelty free and they are more in the natural <laughs> hi they are more in the natural um hairline again like as you've seen I, what i did with the curl curl <laughs> the curl cream i'm dispensing this all through I'm dispensing this all through my hair. So, which already you can see the curls working in. So. All right, okay. That is it for that part. Here's the tricky part. No, seriously, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I used the ponytail holder that I have which I got hair on it already stuck on it and stuff but one of these ponytail things which I need to get more because um, I go through them a lot after a while use one of these take my hair and just roll it up into a messy bun basically so I'll just make it into one of the messy buns twist it around Put it up like that, pull it out a little bit, and leave it like that. That, All right, that's it. Leave it like that, let my hair dry. It might be dry later, I don't know. It depends, it feels like it might. But usually what I'll do is I'll leave my hair like this the whole day. Um, and if I go anywhere, I just go somewhere, my hair is just up like this, you know. Um, I make it, you know, fix, I work with it and everything. And I leave it, up in a bun like this for the whole entire day sleep I always sleep with my hair up in a bun always because it does help the tangles I don't get so many tangles as much as what I used to I read that somewhere I thought that was kind of weird at first but it's true I don't get as many tangles <laughs> as what I used to but when your hair is down and you're rolling all around in bed like I'm somebody I'm one of the people I, I move around a lot in the bed don't take that the wrong way <laughs> But I, I'm just somebody that does, you know, uh, move around a lot. And then by tomorrow, I will come back on and film real quick. Um, and I'll take the pony, the, the the pink ponytail thing out, so you can see what my hair looks like when I when I take it out. That's all I do. I mean, I know that's crazy, insane ness, <laughs> but that's all I do seriously. And I've done that for the last. Um, especially the last year, maybe year and a half now. But I would say 
if you want to, like if you are somebody that has thick natural curly hair, obviously give it a go, try. Give your hair that that break from blow drying it and doing all that stuff and put it up like this, you know, messy bun and um, use some curling cream, curling mousse, curling gel, whatever you want, whatever curling product you have. And then, you know, if you have um, thick wavy hair, you could give it a go. Um, even if you have thin hair, I would say give it a try. See, you know, just if you want to, give it a try. Um, you can use some kind of probably curling uh, cream item yourself and um, or whatever curling cream product you'd like to try or use. Uh, you know, just give it a whirl. Now, the other thing I don't use and I think I'm going to start using again, I haven't used hairspray in a long time. I got away from all that stuff. When I got into when, and I did when for a whole year, the only thing is it ended up not really working for me after a while. So, but I did get used to not using a blow dryer, not using curling irons, curling brushes, anything, hot curlers, nothing, none of that. I got so used to it, it was crazy. So that's how I started doing this. But you'll see this part here and um, I'll be back and it'll be to the next day. So. You'll probably see me wearing something different. So it'll be the next day, it'll be tomorrow. And I'll pull the ponytail thing out and you can go ahead and see, you know, what I do. Yeah, so I will be back. Okay, so we're back. This is the second day. Um, it's actually Sunday. I filmed a Saturday, so today's Sunday, Mother's Day. So I hope every uh, mother out there had a very nice happy Mother's Day and also to those little fur mummies the mummies that take care of the little fur babies also I hope you you all had a wonderful Mother's Day so so my hair is definitely dry and um, so this is pretty much what I do um, when I'm taking my hair down and getting it all styled and whenever I'm getting ready to go somewhere or anything like that so just I pull it out from the ponytail uh, you know in my little hefty ponytail and um i just you know obviously still need to get rid of them gray hairs there but i just you know fluff it up play with it and just scrunch a little bit maybe here and you know just work with it really but um you know fluff it up a little bit more maybe and that, that's just really it. That is it. Like, now I don't have no makeup on or anything like that, but I figured I'd come on here. I mean, there's days I, you know, like I don't wear makeup every day anyhow. So I figured I'd go ahead and come on here and, um, you know, just kind of show you what I, what I do do. And that is it. That's how I get it to really curl the way it does. My bangs and things need cut pretty badly and I do need to get, um, get my hair cut and everything. Um, I don't know what I want to get done though yet. I'm not quite really sure. Usually when I get my hair cut, I don't always get it ne necessarily like uh, a lot cut off or anything, but some days I have to because if there is, you know, your uh, damaged parts on your hair or anything, then I, then I do. If you guys want to give it a try, I'd love to hear if any of you guys um, are going to give it a try or do give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you. I would love to hear. So yeah, hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. Um, but I know a lot of people are saying, you know, like show how you style your hair, show how you style your hair. Um, and this, this is one of the ways that I do it. So um, if I do work into getting some hair accessories, I can't wait because if I do get some good hair accessories, um, we'll play around with some of the hair accessories and uh, I can maybe come up with some different looks and ideas with them or something. So, okay, beauties, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. I would love that so much. It would bring a smile to my face. And also, if you could share my videos, I always forget to say that. I don't know why, but if you could share my video, I would really appreciate that too. That would be so nice. And um, yeah, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and join me each week. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. And as always, beauties, 
please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. Love y'all. Bye-bye.